So we set the MPV as zero. Take this as an example. If we have initial cost a million dollars, we assume every single year we have a certain return on about $300,000 for five years. Okay, so this is a concept of annuity. To get the IRR, we set the MPV as zero and then put the return that we're anticipating to get times the PV factor, which is the one that you'll be tracing to the table to find the I. Okay, so this part here, you'll be going through the fifth year, and then you will use that if you rearrange this equation to find the closest factor, which is closest to 3.27, 274. If you trace that to the table, you'll find the IRR for this project that worth about 16%. Okay, so again, what this tool is doing is that it's setting the MPV at zero, trying to represent MPV in a ratio form. So if the company, the problem tells you that the company's desired rate of return is 14%, whether or not we want to invest in this project depends on whether this IRR is higher than 14% or not. If it's higher, then we invest. If it's lower, then we reject it. Yes, you'll definitely be given a table for any of the problems that I ask you to do, present value, future value. Okay, so in case you can't find a number that looks exactly this close to the, um, the factor that you're getting from the equation, you can just find a range, say it's between 60% or 17%, so like one of the homework problems. Okay, as long as the range you choose, the number actually does fall between, then you're good. So again, just by looking at this factor, you can't really determine how well the project is. What you need to do is, in the problems, they will definitely let you know what is the desired rate of return that the company is aiming at getting. So if this is above it, then this is a good project that a company can consider to invest in. If it's lower, if it's lower, that basically means the MPV would also be negative. Okay, so both of these tools should agree with each other. If one of the cases you got an MPV as positive, then here, Whatever the IRR you get should be higher than the company's desired rate of return. If the IRR you got is lower than 14%, then definitely when you use MPV, you're also getting a negative MPV. So both of these tools, the um, conclusion you get from both of these methods should be the same. Okay. So I basically summed this up already. Decision rule is to compare the IRR against um, the, whatever the rate the company is desiring um, is setting in place for this season. 